Have you fallen victim to a bad DoorDash pilot program? Have these programs negatively impacted your income? In this video, we're going to talk about beating them at their own game. What's going on everybody? I'm Zach from Zach Drives Fast for the Rideshare Guy. And in this video, we're going to talk about how not to fall victim to the DoorDash pilot program plague. Let's dive right into it. In my previous video, I did an overview on just some of the games that DoorDash plays that could negatively impact your income. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video so you don't miss any tips that could help you avoid falling victim to any of these games, causing you to limit your income. We'll be discussing what to look for and the questions to ask to decide if these programs are right for you or if they're just another money grab for DoorDash. Let's jump right into what they say versus what they actually mean. To introduce my point, I'd first like to share a story that happened during my time living in Japan. A group of us were skiing, and a member of our group came down the mountain a few minutes after we did, frantically waving his arms. Out in the distance, we could hear him screaming, Danger! Danger! Kumo! Kumo! to a group of Japanese skiers waiting to get on the lift. Our friend didn't get the response he was expecting. In fact, the group of skiers started laughing at him. Turns out, he had seen a kuma on the mountain and not a kumo. One is a bear, and the other is a spider. This poor man was screaming, Danger, danger, spider, spider. The two sound very similar, but mean two very different things. This story illustrates how a simple mistake or a subtle difference in wording can change the meaning entirely, and why it's important to look at the wording carefully. DoorDash is the king of using subtle wording that most of us would miss, and therefore assume we're getting something that we aren't. Another thing to be aware of is DoorDash is known to change the benefits of their existing programs without notifying drivers. I still get comments almost daily from top dashers that still fully believe that they're going to get priority to higher paying orders over non-top dashers, when in reality, their only benefit is Dash now. Now, this is not entirely fair of me, as DoorDash used to make that claim. The key words there are used to. Unfortunately, there are still tens of thousands of top dashers driving around that believe that they're getting priority for orders. However, in reality, this hasn't been the case for months if it ever was actually true to begin with. This is a problem. Drivers are busting their ass taking shit orders, not for the ability to dash now, but because they haven't read the program description recently. As a result, they think that they're still getting something that isn't even vaguely implied anymore. Again, the only benefit to Top Dasher is the ability to dash now. Many drivers also believe that they're going to receive priority to orders where the customer spent over $35. Now, we've already kind of touched on that, but again, a quick look at the Top Dasher page on DoorDash's website will dispel all of these myths. These are no longer benefits. The only benefit to Top Dasher is that you can wait around in a parking lot for 30 minutes because you pressed Dash Now when it's not actually busy. Avoiding the bullshit can be as simple as the driver just reading the program descriptions. So, why do drivers still think that they're getting something that they aren't? Well, DoorDash never sent out any kind of communication letting drivers know that they stripped away two of the benefits of the Top Dasher program. Now, why wouldn't they want drivers knowing that they did this? Having drivers believe that their high acceptance rate is going to give them priority to higher paying orders is good business. For DoorDash. Again, I would strongly encourage you to take a look at DoorDash's website and read the entire program description from start to finish for any program you're considering participating in. I'm willing to bet you're going to find something that you weren't expecting. Repeat this process every couple of months as the wording today differs from how it read just two weeks ago. When you're doing a deep dive into the program descriptions, you want to look for words like may, might, could, possibility, probability, likelihood, and potential, just to name a few. Basically, you're looking for any words that are non-committal. I call this DoorDash ease. These words are convenient outs for them to not deliver on the perceived promise. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, yeah, Zach, but those are fair outs to give themselves as there's not always going to be high paying orders or priority needed. And that's all fine and well if you're actually getting the perceived promise most of the time. However, the wording in these programs frequently leaves the reward open to interpretation. Here are some recent DoorDash programs that used words like we just discussed to give themselves an out. This is from the high pay order program, or some are calling it the diamond program. This benefit prioritizes qualifying dashers for high paying orders. Under the current criteria, dashers with a customer rating of at least 4.5 and an acceptance rate of at least 50% get priority access, which increases the likelihood of seeing a high paying order. Dashers who have an acceptance rate above 70% will have even more priority for high paying orders. To put that in plain English, another driver who's not in the program might receive that order before you do. Have you taken part in the diamond program? What was your experience like? Share your thoughts in the comment section. The large order program states, high value orders often mean bigger tips. Orders in this program have the potential to pay two to three times as much as a regular order. So far, all of these words are non-committal, but it goes on to say, 
Dashers will have to consistently maintain the qualification criteria below to be eligible for these high-paying orders. Ah, there it is. We found something committal. Our requirements, not the rewards. They word these in a way to make it sound like you're getting something that you very well may not. Have you been invited to join the large order program? Has it increased your income on DoorDash? I look forward to hearing your thoughts. These two programs sound very similar, and they're essentially promising the same thing, just with slightly different wording. The thing I want to focus on the most here, though, is the fact that they're promising drivers in two completely unrelated programs priority to higher paying orders. So if you're in the high pay order program, but the driver next to you is in the large order program, who is actually going to get that order first? Well, it might not be either one of you. Remember, wording matters. They leave the possibility that a driver in neither program could get the order before somebody in the high pay order program or the large order program. Remember, their motivation isn't to reward you. It's to get more orders delivered quickly, ideally without having to bonus them. Don't let yourself fall victim to clever wording. In addition, if the program you're looking at has an acceptance rate requirement, that program was not created for you. It was created for DoorDash. Be aware, these programs aren't created to increase the driver's income. They're created to get shitty orders delivered. If you have to deliver five orders for $4 to get one order for $15, is it worth it? Remember, you're putting miles on your own car and you're buying your own gas. To summarize, DoorDash will try to create excitement by using clever wording that gives themselves an out to not actually deliver on the perceived promises. You can avoid these pitfalls by reading the description carefully and looking for non-committal wording. If you have to be a top dasher to get hours in your market, I get it. You might just want to try watching the app. Even in small markets, frequently the app will turn red periodically throughout the day. Consider scheduling in advance. Remember, at best, the high pay order program makes it difficult to verify the rewards due to the wording. At worst, you'll have the exact same experience I did where you get the same bullshit orders in the program as you did before you were part of the program. Additionally, any program that has an acceptance rate requirement is probably not beneficial for you. It was not designed with you in mind. It was designed with DoorDash in mind. It benefits them only, and it's a red flag that you shouldn't ignore. At the end of the day, DoorDash makes big claims with small rewards. If you're relying on just one app for your part-time or your full-time income, you're making a massive mistake. I personally run at least four apps every time I drive, but I'm activated on eight. You want to know what a true high-paying order looks like? It's the best offer to come across your phone in the last five minutes after completing your last delivery regardless of the app that sent it to you. Think of it this way. You can't build a house with just a hammer. Every app you have should be viewed as a tool in a toolbox. The right app is the one that's paying you the most at the time with the least amount of bullshit. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What advice do you have for other drivers to help them avoid DoorDash's games? Also, tell me about a time with DoorDash that you had to learn the hard way. If you haven't already, please press the like button and subscribe to the Rideshare Guy YouTube channel. I'm Zach Drives Fast for the Rideshare Guy. Take care.